I've just bought a new keyboard and you know what that means Of course you don't because it's my first time breaking something And I'm just excited about it since It's your first time Now we have this genius A genius keyboard which I have been using for about what 10 years or 11 years if, uh, after it was bought, as you can see, it's using the old version of the here of the port. This is the oldest one. It has six, two, yeah, six, uh, seven, or uh, seven. Goodbye. <coughs> the new one have a stand. I mean, like a stand at the back part of the keyboard. While the Ooh. new one doesn't have anything. Let's just make a last view of my keyboard. So let's go and break this thing up. Oh, gross. The inside part is full of dust and red something. Actually harder to remove these parts over here. Just give me the lock, and I don't care. I want to bust you open. I can't really open those keys up up there, so we'll just do the alternatives and we'll open the back part. We're almost done. Three screws on. We're good to go. For those who have anger issues, you may do wanted to you may wanting to do this. <coughs> to those who are angry with their friends and you can't deal with them, you may want to, I mean you may wanting to do this. <coughs> this is the inside part of the keyboard. It has some sort of plastic. This is the inside. Wow. This is the what the motherboard? Or is this the motherboard? Goodbye! <laughs> to those who, who really want to know what's the inside parts of the keyboard, this is it. This is the answer to your questions. I hope you guys find this video entertaining. I just broke a, what, $2 keyboard. Um, anyway, if you love the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye! <laughs>